Welcome guys to another video. I hope you're all doing really well and welcome to Life is Strange. I know this game has been out for a while now and everything but I wanted to get into it. It looks really good. The graphics are amazing. The gameplay is amazing. Um, I know a lot of other people have already played it um, but I'm still new to everything, to YouTube and everything, so I'm going to be late to a lot of stuff, but welcome to Life is Strange Episode 1, and we will get straight into it. And I haven't even... <laughs> Tell I haven't even set it all up yet. Game save one. Start new game. New game. Like I said guys, I hope you're all doing well. A lot is happening behind the scenes and everything to make everything work better. I've got a new video coming out soon, which will be um, coming out soon. It's just been taking it just to record. Jesus. Okay. I'm <laughs> going straight into it. Why are you laying on the floor in the storm? You're going to get a cold. I don't know. I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? You probably had a bit too much to drink, didn't you? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. These graphics are absolutely amazing. Lighthouse, this way. Thank you, sign. Oh, these graphics in the open, the leaves blowing in the wind, and the rain in the open, it's just absolutely amazing. What's that? Oh. My gosh, that is absolutely massive. Blackwell Academy, 1910. Oh, there's a little town. Yeah, little town was dead for one guard, I think. Oh, God, the sensitivity. Holy shit! Yeah, that's what we're all thinking. That is a massive tornado. Whoa. <laughs> Move. Whoa. That was so surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly nice. captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. That's a good picture. Don't put yourself down. He says, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She I haven't kept up with my journal right? as much as I should. And frankly, it's bullshit. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? October 1st. October, my favorite month. The best weather for the year. I love watching the leaves change colours and turn into tiny flames. Blah blah blah. blah. Not a lot happening there. 
Max, Jefferson, Victoria, Kitty. Ah, it's like a little backstory of them all. My name is Max Caulfield. Never since I was a little kid, I knew I wanted to be a photographer. I've always seen the world through my own lens finder. Maybe it's a way for me to be part of the world, but it's but at a safe distance. Why is my phone going off? Be quiet. For some reason, I always drown. Drown? To old analog cameras, get to analog camera gear rather than digital tech. I love all kinds of styles and te te techniques. I cannot read. <clears throat> but for me, the instant camera selfie is the one. I love most. I don't care if people make fun of me or not. Good attitude. Don't care what other people think. I'm in great I'm in great company, right? And now I've came all the way back to my childhood home to study photography at Blackwell Academy, a private school for twelfth grade seniors. <clears throat> On a scholarship even. I originally left behind Chloe, my best friend forever. At least until I left without taking talking to her once in five years. And it feels so weird to be back here without seeing her yet. So I'm 18 now and officially an adult even though I don't always feel so wise or mature. You still child at heart then. And, and I'm ready to begin a whole new life here with retro camera and, at my side. <laughs> Say cheese. Uh, Mr. Jefferson, Katie, Victoria. That's me again. Chapter 1. I have no idea how the hell you say that. Cryos Alice? Uh, a little different pictures I can get. Dad, have a very special 18th birthday. You're an adult now. Be still our little girl, check your account, don't blow it all at once. Ooh, that sent me some money. Katie. Hey Max, you around? Always, you okay? Did you want to get a tea later today? Ooh, cup of tea. Uh, more of a coffee. Actually, I'll be free after four. Talk to you later. Mum, happy birthday Maxine. You can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you've brought to us. Mm. When we say she was brought to you. Uh, okay. Who is this? Warren. Do you want to meet meet for coffee after school? I need an excuse to not study. Please make sure you check your neck neck rum neck neck rum attic on the flash drive mwahahaha <laughs> hey man max let's bust shit up <laughs> wait i have to study for a physics test so if we bust anything we also have to measure its ve velocity don't ignore this message i've been ignoring you all the messages so <laughs> Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. One of you could do that to me. Isn't that? Too I know you're talking, Mr. Jefferson, but too I've got obvious? other stuff I want to do. What if Arbus chose to capture people? I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I've got no idea. 
You're asking me, I don't know. Um, you're, you're asking, asking me? me? L let me think. Um. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody oh, right, here Jesus. who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail uh, in people's faces, making them extremely I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. You can find out all about them in your textbook or even online. Oh, fine. Guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So, Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. All right. Well, you're a nice teacher, but. <laughs> uh, Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. That's a very nice picture. Nice, I just did an everything. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. And you all look miserable as hell. <laughs> uh, what are you? Yeah, photo equipment. Poster. This sensitivity is gonna drive me insane. This is definitely where cameras, cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look, of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. Eh, there's always that one person in school. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Bing. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. I hope it didn't embarrass you. You seem quiet today. Mm, you, you seem, seem quiet. quiet today. What's wrong? Just thinking too much. Victoria's already won. Want to go grab a cup of tea? Cup O T. Sorry. Um. Mm, I hear that. Want to go that. grab a cup of tea? Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Can you send me a text sure. saying to go get tea? But, okay, whatever. Hmm, huh. this might make a cool shot. I oh, know, I can't see it. Rachel, Amber, forever. Wow. Wait, who's Rachel Amber? I can't remember. <laughs> Wait, did they tell us who Rachel Amber is? Journal. Ah. And I got an achievement. <laughs> yeah, Rachel Amber forever. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Ooh, did someone have a bit of a crush? TV. That is like a better TV than any of my schools ever had. We always had like projectors and everything. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Do -do -do -do. Okay, I'm not looking at everything, Jesus. I'll be here all day. Photo contest. I see you, Max uh, Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I don't have one. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Um. 
Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist. It looks like you took a pen and edge. drew it on. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Hmm, that's pretty. I'm pretty sure that's called anxiety. You didn't tell me <laughs> how cute I Something like that. I was about to. You you Welcome to the real world. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. I'm not paying $150. I'm not getting involved in that conversation. You plays it so shy. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class, it's so fucking boring. Square Enix. Can you see you going bathroom? She's so fucking shy. She took selfies with a giant camera. I don't think earphones are that good. Life is Strange, Episode 1 Heaven I was meant to shut my window Just in Dana To all of Brooke. you American no, girls It's sad to Imagine a world Without nice. you It looks like she's been gone for American months girls I'd like to Missing from Arcadia Bay, day missing Monday, April 22nd, 2013. A car Age 19, high, 5 foot 3. Aww, oh, she's kind of small. <laughs> uh, wait, 110 pounds. I've got no idea what that means in British, but... Hair, blonde, eyes, hazel, tattoo, blah blah blah. Rachel Lambert, age 19. Please call with any information. Call Arcadia Bay, Sheriff. Vending machine. Ice cold drinks. American girls in the movies. You got better vending machines than what my school has ever had. American girls like dollies with shiny smiles and plastic bodies. I wish I had. Empty. Good. This music. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. You shouldn't hide from your problems. Talk to someone. You can do this. You can do this. Don't let anybody let you get let you, get you down. Rachel Lambert is a bitch. Now who oh. would bother to write that crap? I don't even know who Rage Lambert is. I just know that she's missing or something. That's about all that I know. I feel oh, like the universe crap. is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. <laughs> Why do you sound so Fuck it. sarcastic about that? No! There's a good picture. You have to rip it up. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. That's actually a really like, nice butterfly. Ah, oh, you scared him away.
It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. Mm, I don't think you can so quite blow you want? the school. I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around Whoa. with. Whoa. Did you get that? that what are you doing? Quickly. Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! He shot him! Huh? What am I doing? Whoa. What the fuck? How? That's what I'm thinking. How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Yeah, he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow, from color. To now shadow. Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer? I cannot believe this. Captured the human condition in black and white. I ah, broke it. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why are us? Because of her images oh. of hopeless faces. Left trigger to rewind. Oh, that's awesome. I did it. Can you give me I actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a the human, human time machine. <laughs> Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because when I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll notice this for real. Kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. I know I'm not no, doing this. You all know the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation. So I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so isn't dead yet? The point Can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits? I can't remember. I feel sick. I have to use the bathroom. Uh, I'm sorry, I but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can Damn talk it. more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me I after class. A French and I need time to save that girl. Lives. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. Sad what if face. I rewind the again Bulgarian and give him the right answer? Hold on it. Look, you well, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh, the Daguerrean process, oh. invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. Nope. I've been cheating. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. 
And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo hmm. for the competition. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Do I have to? I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Mm. I'm not avoiding. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max? Max? Don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Don't let me stop you. Okay. But you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're- Excuse me. Excuse Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Thanks, I guess. Now I need to go to the bathroom to save I hope I have enough time girl. to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. Oh, dude, They'll think I'm crazy. Run, Max, run. I didn't really run, it's more light job. <laughs> okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo, then the butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that Bye thing about. down! Tell me what to Bye do! About. I'm so I need a hammer to break it open! To control me! Oh, you are come on. Get in hella more trouble for this than Move. drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from Take me, it. psycho! Holy shit, I can't and let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. I'm gonna get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even hammer. miss your punk hammer. ass, would they? No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. No one is going around with a gun. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. You are a dick. I don't like it. <sighs> now where do we go? Not that way. Who are you? Principal you Well. You look a little stressed out. 
Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Do I have to? Report Nathan, hide the truth. Um... Mama, tell what happened. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom yes. talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. Yep. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone so? won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? No, I'm gonna stick to my story. First thing, like, I don't know why, but some teachers don't call you by your first name, they always like say your last name. Like, some of them do anyway, not all of them. Like, I remember I'll be, like, I'll be going around school and everything, and then. I don't know why, but I'll say like hi to a teacher or something, and then they'll say like hi back, but then they'll say like my last when name. Nathan Prescott, please weird. come to the front office. Thank you. Ooh, Nathan's gonna get arrested. Miss, I miss Grant. Miss Grant. Okay. God, this is beautiful. I'm not like gushing over the graphics and everything, but I'm a massive fan of like graphics and I better read Warren's text before he blows everything. my phone up. Uh Um Hi Max can Oh Jesus Christ. Alright, stop texting so fast. Hi Max, can you get my flash drive? I need some info in space. Hello? Oh, sorry, running late. Insane day. I'm a little bit. I'll meet you in the lot. Looking cool. You'll see. My camera will be ready. See you shortly. I hope so. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Um, where is the dorm? Dormitories. That's where. Run, Max. I've already opened the journal. Stop telling me what to do. Come on, this way. Okay, I can't just walk down. Come on, Logan, bring it, Brock. <laughs> yeah. Can they play f football? Uh, how the Americans say it. I need to go in my room and return well, Warren's in, flash drive. Like England, Nathan. The Prescott Dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's yeah. family owns my dorm? <laughs> um, I know in England they call it rugby. In America they call it like football and everything. Oh, what's the oh. I can't get him. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. 
The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Yeah. Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Letter. Can I just climb a ladder through the window? Caretaker. There goes Samuel Da Vinci to paint the window. What a bum. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Did that get it to me so I can go inside now? I guess not. She looks like a pissed off wet cat, and she's still stylish. You understand English? Get lost. No. Okay. Nice, bro. No. So how can I get into the dorms? Sweet. Is there something else I can do in here? Mess with the wall pumps again. Go through secret back door. I don't think so. Sweet. I'll go over there. Boo! I need to figure this out. Okay. okay. She looks like a pissed off wet cat, and she's still stylish. Okay, let's go back a bit more. Okay. Mm, still didn't help. Go back further. Whoa, okay. I okay. can't grab that. Samuel is way too close. Mm. Samuel, go away. Go further back. There we go. Okay, let's see if this works. Can do anything? No, just look at the ladder. Come on, Samuel. Oh wait, 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 wait. I need to get Rachel to move. Not oh, Rachel, Victoria. Use. What the hell? There we go. Are you kidding? Are you Look kidding? at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. There we go. Wouldn't you be able to tell there's something wrong with the bucket as soon as he picks it up? Okay. No way! No fucking you okay, way! okay, Victoria? Oh. Oh, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I drive. Before I 
It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Can I go inside? Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Uh, my phone of com comfort. Uh, comfort. Enough. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. No. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. <laughs> You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. <laughs> that was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Yay! See, being nice always Victoria helps. probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. Yeah, but you can't fight fire with fire, so... <sighs> the dorms. A long corridor with little rooms. Which one Victoria am I? Is going no to boys allowed. So Jesus. Hi. Okay. As if. <laughs> Do that. Read this week's edition of the Blackwell Totem. Seriously, who cares? Juliet, <laughs> extreme reporter. Stomping Bigfoots. Okay. This in person photo. Showers, bathroom. Why ain't the bathroom and showers together? At least that's an alarm from this century. <laughs> Poster. Don't be a zombie. Okay. We'll bang for Jesus. Okay. You put peace sign there. Max's room. So that's my room anyway. B. Be the change you wish to see. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. <laughs> 3 .14. 4 one three. Oh no! Oh, I just realised it spells pi backwards. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. Ooh, a little college romance going on. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Why are people texting me? Go away, please. I got a message off me mum. Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told some tattletales about Blackwell on a student. Is this true? The principal said this was a serious false charge and that he is worried you're telling stories. Call me ASAP so we can talk about this. Mum. You don't have to end a message saying who you are when it's a text or whatever. Oh, Ahoy, Captain. Teddy. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. 
How did you swallow his eye? <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. <laughs> Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Why did you just, like, not keep in contact with her? It's not that hard nowadays. Art books, cushion, blah blah blah. Looks like Dana left me a little post it note. Hey girl, I borrowed your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need it back, just track me down in my room. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. What kind I am of so is addicted to this site. Look at these vintage Camera beauties. porn. Warren makes me well, laugh. Hell. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Max, thanks for the... Thanks ugh, thanks for your email and copy of Mr. Jefferson, Mr. Jefferson's class notes. Now I shall never stop sending you messages of gratitude. I also have a rather something collection of TV cult and classic TV cult classic and folk talk films on a fat drive fat flash drive. If you ever want to check them out, thanks again for the help. I'm a Scientist more than an artist. Now you can quickly explain to me how the camera works. Be seeing you, Warren G. And for some reason, I can't talk. Or read, or anything. What you, do you are think? thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. <laughs> Drink up. This actually will have consequences. Watering a bloody plant? Okay, if you say so. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of the October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Wait, I need to go to someone's room to get a flash drive? Whose was it? Looks like Dana left me a little post it note. Great. Dana. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Where's Dana's room? You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Okay. That tells me which room. Welcome to the real is drama it. queens of Blackwell. Juliet, this is so stupid. Hey, Juliet. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You no. are ridiculous. Uh. What, what did she do? Think? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? I've got no f bloody idea. Juliet Mason, Juliet Osson, Olson, Juliet Watson, Juliet Patson. I'm gonna say Patson. Juliet Pats. Juliet Patson. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Damn it. They're going backwards. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. Uh, Judah Watson be nice. Uh, what did she do? No, go with the same path. Before. What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch! How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last I name? I am a photographer. Juliet Watson. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Hmm. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? 
According to Victoria, <clears throat> Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Okay, so we'll go to Victoria's room. Which one's Victoria's room? That one. Oh, we're gonna get caught, aren't we? Hmm. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Stop talking! Place this mission to the... Craft Gallery. Unfortunately, your work is not compatible with our um, mission statement. We appreciate your effort. Blah 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 blah. Basically, saying he didn't get in. Cameras. Tablet. Is she going I to get find a three D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. <laughs> three thousand six hundred quid for a three D printer. I'm good. Uh, jewelry, some poster, leaflet, mission poster, mission person poster, some other stuff, TV. I didn't want to do the laptop because I thought that would press. I'll give Victoria props this. for not posting my photo and for this nice shot. <laughs> Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Okay. Don't want to do that. Did I print it? Oh. Print email. There we go. Why do you have this a laptop with Juliet no... This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. ...thing. With no... Password or anything. Okay, we didn't get caught. Fair enough. Juliet, read this. Show her the email. Of course. Of course. <laughs> I'm an asshole. I'm, an asshole. I'm, sorry, Dana. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. How'd you know I came for that? I could've just came to Almost help you out. Done. Get the flash drive, and then I'll go see Warren. Pregnancy test? That looks like a home pregnancy test. Don't pick it up. Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're okay. not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Can I rewind so that doesn't happen? Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. Okay, it's still there. Uh, that's a flash drive. Yeah, flash drive. Must Take. protect my precious, so Max never has to chase it down again. Wow. I'll say um. Golem reference uh, from. I better make sure everything is still, in there. still in there. I think Inkers? Warren forgot to hide the party oh, buster remember. folder. Not that I would open it, no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. Weird science homework. Warren G's. Warren G's incredible film library. Greatest TV shows ever. Blah blah blah. Then there's just one that says Max. <laughs> Okay. Oh, good. Come on, flash drive. Let's go. Hey, Dana. Seriously. Okay. Thanks again. 
I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Real <laughs> mature. I heard a rumor about you, Victoria isn't nice. Julia gets her raid on. Dana. Heard a rumor. I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. I didn't even they say just that. acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? Yes. <laughs> of course. You're pregnant. Of course. Of course. I was pregnant. Was. was. Oh. What about the other? Deadbeat Dad? You can catch him on the 40 yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Oh. Um, Sorry, to Sorry to pry. It's not my business. Not my business. And I, I won't be at the game Friday. Not much school spirit, I guess. I like your spirit, Max. <laughs> anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. <laughs> Let's go find Warren. And I got a text off him. Uh, uh, I'm coming to you so sorry, I hope so. I don't mind waiting out here forever. I love this parking lot. I can count all the cars. I'm more... The more I text, the longer I take. On the way. Bye. <laughs> I don't quite think that's how texts go, but sure. Let's go to Ow! That hurt. <laughs> Damn, I better rewind. Fuck this shit. Okay, even father. Alyssa, right. move your yeah. head. If you insist, Max. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Well done, Max. One good deal is they done. Why is it that everything I do has consequences? I know like they say... So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Uh... Intervene. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Whatever. You're just a bully. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. Bye. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate. So, Kate, I just completely cut you off. God, these graphics are amazing. The car park. Is that Warren out the other I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. <laughs> that person knows how to park. I'm missing person places already all over the place. Yeah.
<sighs> Todd. I wonder how something. long before Samuel has to repaint that. I don't get it. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Oh. Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry about Zachary. Oh, I'm above you. Mm, sorry no, you had to nice. find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren uh, wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. You don't... You don't sex someone as a joke. Max, get your ass over here. I haven't tell me what to do. I'm having a look around. Even though it's probably not actually anything to look around about, but... Now this really pisses me off. So entitled. Sorry, handicapped folks. My truck needs these two spots more than you do. Bastard. Yep. And then you just got an RV in the corner, like... Why are you Come going over here. in an RV? Please. God, you what really up, Max? Do How are you? Attention. Here's your flash. Thanks. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Check out my new wheels. Cool. Oh, God, that's Very so old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong <laughs> time, Warren. But then so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Damn it. <laughs> I don't want to talk. No, I'm um, really. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Um. No, nope. I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. For a week, I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. That does not sound... No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Can you square it in the background? Faster pussy cat kill kill. No oh how so? Uh not at all. Sensitive is good, unless you're a pushover. You have hip taste and a quick mind. Thanks for noticing, Max. The right girl will too. If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. Hmm. I need to talk. Don't want to speak about it. I don't want to speak about it. This is kind of a crazy day for me. I mean, I literally think I'm going crazy. I may be a pest, but I'm a good listener. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal? Now! Uh, Answer me, bitch! What are you talking to you. about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. 
Take a, Take step, a step back, back. Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Get away from her, dude. Hey! Ow. Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the bathroom! <laughs> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get oh, your Warren. punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! That's me! Nobody! Aw, oh, Warren. <laughs> he saved me. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up. And dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. <laughs> After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing okay, after nothing. today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? Eh, I, I guess. guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Any from Mark Jefferson? Of course. Of course. of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher? Not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy <laughs> to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Zoe. Give me a break. I'm sorry I wanted to. I, I wanted, wanted to. to. I was just so tripped out over leaving Arcadia. Oh, please. I'm sure your phone and laptop were frozen in time. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. I'm sorry. haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Nerd alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome <laughs> home, Max. Oh, that's nice. <sighs> Ooh, it's Chloe's house. Huh? Oh, Come on in, don't be shy. The Come house on. still looks nice. Home, shit, home. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. I know I have, and um, we've got a long way to go as well. So, 
hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please smash the like button and subscribe. It'll help me out, it'll help the channel out and everything. And there is a lot more videos to come up. Uh, we've got the rest of episode 1 of Life is Strange. I've got Resident Evil. I've got uh, The Walking Dead. There's three games there off the top of my head that I'm going to be playing soon. So if you guys have enjoyed it, please like the video and subscribe. And I will see you lot in the next video. So bye guys.